Registered Phenomena Code 042 Object Class Gamma Red Hazard Types Aggression Hazard Regenerative Hazard Sentient Hazard Auditory Hazard Sensory Hazard Containment Protocols Due to the containment breach of RPC-042, RPC-042 is currently uncontained and unable to be located. Due to RPC-042's dangerous nature, RPC-042 is to be considered a top-level priority until such feasible protocols have been established. Security resources are to be diverted into the locating and retrieving of RPC-042 with minimal civilian exposure. See Addendum 042.02 Additionally, any electronic devices that have copies of RPC-042's high-frequency vocalization audio are to be redacted and classified to a Level 4 access. See Addendum 042.03 Description RPC-042 refers to a humanoid entity that approximately measures 1.97 meters in height. While appearing to have minimal muscle mass, RPC-042's anatomy is at the advanced stage of decomposition that arises from soft tissues that have either been decayed or dried to the point that some of the skeletal structure has been exposed. Additionally, RPC-042 is immensely stronger than natural humans. Close observation reveals that RPC-042 does not appear to have any eyes, nor visual sensory organs but does appear to heavily rely on a sensory system which allows RPC-042 to greatly hear its environmental surroundings by an 80-meter radius. RPC-042 has been denoted to remain passive, but will enter in an aggressive state when subjects agitate RPC-042 by producing sounds of 20 dB in volume and will begin screeching at 150 dB that has an immediate psychological effect on the subject. Furthermore, RPC-042 will only attack those who have produced the aforementioned frequency. Discovery. In Manchester, England, the Authority was contacted by GOI-0224 MI-13, Military Intelligence Section 13, following British security services spotted and surveyed an unidentified anomaly roaming through Manchester and had confirmed at least 15 casualties. See Addendum 042.01 MST Foxtrot 4, along with 1st ISR Brigade, was dispatched from JS Site toward Manchester. Upon arrival, both teams have reported to experience issues with communications when initially agitating and engaging RPC-042. Major Donovan, Battalion Commander of MST Foxtrot 4, reported that RPC-042 withstood from damage and called in for additionals towards their location. Multiple casualties have been reported during the situation. RPC-042 was subdued with reluctance following the situation lasting for almost two hours. Authority agents abstracted that RPC-042 may have taken numerous blows that had resulted in RPC-042 being pacified. See Interview Log 042.01 Interview Log 042-01 Audio Transcript of Interview Forward At approximately 19.24 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, MS Team Foxtrot 4 Prey, was dispatched with other operators of the 1st ISR Brigade as part of Joint Ops to contain and retrieve RPC-042 in the incident of Manchester, England. The following is a transcript between Dr and Corporal Alex Tremblay. Interviewer Dr. Interviewee Corporal Alex Tremblay Begin Log 2029 Corporal, my name is Dr. and I am currently overseeing this interview with you to finalize the after-action report that occurred on the 24th of in Manchester. For the record, state your unit, name, and rank. Corporal Tremblay Alex Tremblay, and I am assigned to MST Foxtrot 4. Alright, Corporal. What can you recollect when your team was deployed from RAF Autumn, Hampshire, to Manchester? We were immediately inserted at the outskirts of Manchester by via two Chinooks. The other Chinook was carrying 1st ISR Brigade. 
My team disembarked and proceeded towards the objective area, and along the way we encountered some technical issues getting around the area. TOC was surveying our surroundings for any unknown signature near our position. What time was it when you navigated through Manchester? I believe 0300 hours. We were entering a quiet neighborhood and didn't encounter any civilians. Prior to the landing, we were equipping our PSV-7 night optical devices as the city was experiencing a blackout around that time. We crossed through an intersection and, um, immediately encountered some casualties. What kind of casualties? Civilians. Somewhere. When did you exactly encounter RPC-042? When TOC reported an unknown signature moving one click north from our position. We quickly moved towards 042's position, and when we arrived, Major Donovan had set us up a tight perimeter to ensure that 042 doesn't escape from our sights. First ISR Brigade was on the buildings providing suppression if need be. According to Sergeant Major, one of the operators accidentally caused RPC-042's aggression state. Care to elaborate on this? One of our guys in the team was a recent transfer from MST. It was our first mission with the team, but somehow manages to fuck it up. When we're moving towards 042 to contain it, the transferee, whom we'll call Joe, had accidentally tripped and impacted against a car which set off the alarm. After that shit, 042 immediately spotted us and screeched. That fucking screech caused our comms to jam like shit. First ISR Brigade began suppressing fire, and Major Donovan ordered us to engage it. The armor-piercing bullets didn't seem to put a single dent on it. What happened next? RPC-042 continued to assault my guys as we slowly pushed back. Major Donovan attempted to call in additionals, but was unfortunately caught in a crossfire and killed by RPC-042. Major Donovan? was attacked and killed by RPC-042? Affirmative. So, who assumed command on the ground? It was Captain Hansworth from the 1st ISR Brigade. He ordered us to continue suppressing onto 042, and had one of his shoot 042 with an anti-material rifle. Captain Hansworth ordered the use of DSR-50 against RPC-042? Yes, but again, it didn't put much of a dent on that thing. According to one of the statements made by the 1st ISR Brigade, they reported that RPC-042 had structurally appeared to have been weakened, yet despite that, it didn't take any damage. Can you confirm this? 042 appeared to be weakened after it was hit with 23 rounds of the anti-material rifle, and about thousands of ammunition from us. Twenty-eight minutes later, it just dropped onto the ground and we all ceased fire. I would like to add that the containment team, when they arrived, one of the containment specialists had been killed during the process of containment. Can you recount this event following their arrival, Corp? I was just about to exfiltrate out of the area when one of the specialists got their heads crushed by 042 as they were trying to put it in the containment truck. Um, that's all I can recount, Doctor. Do you have anything else to say on record? No, I don't. Alright. Thank you, Corporal. End Log 2058 Addendum 042-01 Initial contact of RPC-042 Shared information from GOI-0224, Military Intelligence Section 13 had revealed that British Security Service first observed RPC-042 when embedded operatives within the Greater Manchester Police reported a loud disturbance that caused numerous windows to be broken near the area. No one was harmed in the process, but operatives immediately reported that RPC-042 was heading towards east of Manchester. By the time British Security Services notified GOI-0224, RPC-042 was reported to have already caused a casualty when a group of hikers insinuated RPC-042's aggression state and were killed in the process. 
the authority was immediately contacted following the incident with the hikers. Addendum 042-02 Incident Report 042-A1 Forward On June 14, ASF security personnel were dispatched on the RPC-042's containment chamber following an experiment that resulted in two security officers being caught in the process, which both have subsequently been killed, and the site immediately went into a full lockdown. The incident escalated as RPC-042 was abruptly alerted by the facility's containment alarms and had approximately killed ASF personnel upon insinuating an aggressive state. At 4.49 am, a garrison CRT was dispatched to assist ASF personnel as RPC-042 had immediately breached through the office wing and had enraged RPC-042 further as they had engaged on the RPC-042. By 5.17 am, RPC-042 had escaped out of the facility with a high casualty. The following is an interview transcript between an interviewer and Dr. Chrome. Begin log. Dr. Chrome, can you care to explain your actions that led to the containment breach of RPC-042? It was a mistake. I did not mean to send those. Mean to what? You sent those security officers without following proper procedure, and this is where we are now with body bags within this facility! Look, one of the CSD ignored one of my instructions through their earpiece and was constantly banging at the containment chamber doors. I was worried that RPC-042 could have broken the damn thing if he had killed that CSD at the door, and accidentally damaged it in the process. Therefore, I had no other options but to send a security team to stop the CSD from doing so. Yet, despite that. You opened the gates and allowed RPC-042 to go on a full rampage throughout the facility. This is incompetent, irresponsible, and gross action that could have been prevented if you had just let aside your concerns and allow the testing to take its own course. Thanks to you and Doctor, we have a wild anomaly on the loose! <sighs> Dr. Crow, do you have anything else to say for the record? No. Well then, please follow these two gentlemen to your new cell, Doctor. End log. Interviewer statement. Current containment and security procedures are currently undergoing revision as directed by the Human Resources Department. However, if we do indeed recontain RPC-042, I'd highly recommend placing RPC-042 within a permanent confinement without any interactions. As for Dr. Chrome, he was immediately given designation for CSD following his misconduct during and prior to the incident. Addendum 042.03 Auditory Redaction of RPC-042 at the request of Assistant Director, along with the approval of the Global Directors, archived audio of RPC-042's high-pitched vocalization has been redacted due to psychological concerns. However, an unredacted variant has been made for the purpose of archive and research onto the psychological effects. Note, the auditory recording of RPC-042 screeching has been turned down to prevent listeners from being affected by the effects.